Hey, my pretties. How are you guys today? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, we're at the last of the journey that we were taking with the wisdom of the house of night. And we only have five more cards left and it's from 46 to 50. So yeah, we're all done guys. Yep. After today, no more journey. So let's get started. <laughs> and it's, let's put it this way, number 46. And this one is traces. There we go. Let's find it over here. <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a nice day today. It's actually nice over here. I think it's going to rain a little bit, though. Not positive, but I think it's supposed to. All right. Choices. Do you know why the story of a winged immortal in the house of night who had to choose between the dark and the light? Do you know what he chose? Right now you are faced with such a choice. All you need to do is to ask, is this for the highest good? The choices you make will be an important important step in your life lessons remember even not deciding is a choice what will it be choose another card to show you what you chose will bring you Wait. choose another card to show you what your choice will bring you cat come on watch out my kitty no 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 sorry about that guys get down get down my kitty wants to be in the the video <laughs> all right every choice you make has a consequence even your thoughts are like magnets drawing experiences to you for the good or for the bad so remember that choose wisely choose the good i'm sure you guys will all righty individuality it's a pretty card I have mocked one young vampire in a way that is unique, setting her apart from all others. Choosing a symbol is important because it reminds you to reflect on your unique qualities. It also reminds you not to compare yourself with others. Never compare yourself with others. Nope. This is a futile exercise because no one is the same. No one's beauty is greater or lesser than yours. No one's life's better or less than yours. Others may seem happy doing things a certain way, but if you feel as if you're compromising yourself to fit in, don't. People will love you for who you are, not someone you are trying to be. Your task here is only to be yourself. This is a powerful sign. Yeah, always choose to be yourself. You know what? There's only one you. You're unique. Remember that. You're you. <laughs> and I feel like I'm preaching right now. Sorry, guys. All right. No two snowflakes can ever be the same. Just as you are special and unique too, this is sometimes, oh wait, this is something to celebrate. My eyes are going winky on me. Alrighty, and confidence. I like this card too. What rules are you considering when you ask your question? You'll be sorry if you are going to break a rule that is in place to protect you and others. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is a time to obey what has already been set in motion. This is a time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps to the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. So yeah. All right, there are rules for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets, and they dance together in perfect steps. That's the little saying that she has. It's so true, though. I mean, if you think about it, think about it really hard. It's really true. All right, 49, oath. All right, this is a long one. An oath is never made lightly, nor in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's time 
you look at how you have made your promises. Have you crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to your oath? Has anyone broken his or her promises to you? Let the person go. Don't hold on to someone who refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person in your life. Nope, you don't want this person in your life if they can't hold promises. For now, the most important promise you can make is to you. Promises to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm. To belong to me, you must keep that promise. So yeah, always keep your promise. My lovely child, you have chosen the symbol for oath. This is a symbol for all promises. It is a reminder to keep the ones you have made. Did I just say that? Always keep the ones that you make? Yeah. Yeah, you guys can hear. I don't know if you can hear the birdies out there, but oh my God, they're loud. And the last card of this little journey, we end off the moon. The cat, he's just as black as my kitty, but he has a little white on him. I think like right over here. All right. When you choose the symbol of the moon as your guide, you know that it's necessary to look beyond the obvious to know the truth of things. Sometimes people will say one thing and you have a weird feeling that they mean something else altogether. You have this power. You are being asked to use it now. Choose another card for a deeper look at what's really going on behind the scenes. Yep. And the last little saying of this little thing over here is, this is a sign that you must trust your your gut, your instincts, and intuition with uh, what's that word? Oh, will lead the way through the darkness. And I'm pretty sad that you got to lift up your glasses. I should just take them off, but I just don't. You know. All right, well, that's the end of our journey. We are all done. I hope you guys liked this as much as I did. I mean, I had fun learning them. And you know what? Let's pull a card for the heck of it. Why not, right? End it off with pulling a card, see what today is going to be. We do the card of the day. I don't know about you, but I like the card of the day. So let's see what our card of the day is. Got to make sure we shuffle them really good. These cars are hard to shuffle because <laughs> they're so big. They're so they're not really flimsy, but I don't know. Coming down with my allergies. Oh, it's allergy season over here, and it's really putting me through the ringer. Besides being tired, sniffly, headaches, you name it, I got it. All right. Let's pick a card. Hmm, which one will we get? Fragment. Hmm, putting the pieces together, I would say. Let's see. Fragment. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, wait, let me just look at the number. 15. I would say putting pieces together. And guys, remember, to keep knowing this, you got to keep going on and on and on. Just reading it once and just doing it one through. Not going to help you. You have to keep on, like, pulling cards daily and eventually a stick into, into your head and everything. And before you know it, you learn them, like, really... Really good. All right, this is a long one, guys. Family, friends, work, study, activities can all be, all seem really unrelated to each other. My child, you are always whole. Even at times, things feel separate and fragmented. That is the only illusion. Choosing a symbol reminds you that all the moving parts of your life are important. If the one you're asking about seems confusing, focus on the one that brings you clarity. Be here now and know that I knits love you and see you as beautiful and whole, regardless of how disconnected things seem. Also, remember to take a step back when you're trying to understand something. You may be looking at only one piece of the grand giant puzzle, a fragmented of the truth. See the big picture through my eyes, and no matter what, all is well. 
So even if you're confused, don't worry. Just look at what's what you know, what's, you know, I don't know, what you know that's happening right now. And everything will fall together, fall into place. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys go. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little journey. And I hope you guys have a nice week. And if you have any questions, always feel free to leave them below, down in the comment section. And if you want, please subscribe. Uh, share, like this video. And thank you for going on this little journey with me. I had fun. Bye, guys. Love yous. Keep smiling.